Welcome to day 121 of our school year. We have 59 school days left. Let's go ahead and get down our beginning fraction. We have a total of 180 school days and we are on day 121. Let's go ahead and think, is our numerator prime or composite? Well, it's not even, so that doesn't help us. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4, so it's not a multiple of 3. Let's look at our prime number sieve. 21 is not circled, so it is composite. That means we have to do our prime factorization for both our denominator and our numerator. We're going to use our first 5 prime to help us out. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Okay, 180, that's even. Half of that is 90. Half of that is 45. Divide by 3, I get 15. Divide by 3, I get 5. Okay, let's see. I already said I can't divide by 2 or 3. I can't divide by 5 because it doesn't end in a 0 or 5. Let's try 7. 7 times 10 is 70. 77, 84, 91, 98, 105, 112, 119, 126. No, I can't divide by 7. 11. 11 times 10 is 110. 121. There it is. 11 times 11, this is a perfect square. 121 is a perfect square. We get to a prime number and we are done. Let's go ahead and get down our prime factorization from least to greatest. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 and 11 times 11. Do we have any common factors here? No. There's no 2's, 3's, or 5's up here, no 11's, so our greatest common factor then is 1. Let's go ahead and make our groups of 1. They are done. We have a total of 180 groups, and there are 121 groups of 1 shaded in. Let's go ahead and prove it with our algorithm. So we have a rectangle here, our area model, 180 square units, this side is 1, this one has an area of 121, this side is 1. 100 times 1 is 100, numbers the same, 0 is a game, more on top, no need to stop, bring the 80 up. 80 times 1 is 80, numbers the same, a 0 is the game. Add these together, 100 plus 80 is 180. Right here, 100 times 1 is 100. We're on top, no need to stop. We're on top, no need to stop. Bring the 21 up here. 20 times 1 is 20. We're on top, no need to stop. Numbers the same, 0 is the game and then 1 times 1 is 1. Numbers the same, 0 is a game. Here we ended up with an expanded form. 100 plus 20 plus 1 is 121, which is a palindrome. Let's go ahead and check our answer. Divisor times quotient plus remainder. Divisor times quotient plus remainder. Since our remainder is 0 for both, our identity property of addition says when you add 0, it stays the same. But what we end up with here is the identity property of multiplication that says when you multiply by 1, it stays the same. One group of 0 is 0, one group of 8 tens is 8 tens, one group of 100 is 100. One group of 1 is 1, one group of 2 tens is 2 tens, one group of 100 is 100. So 121, that matches our dividend, check. 180, that matches our dividend, check. So our numerator is definitely 121, and our denominator is definitely 180. All right, let's go ahead and fill in our data collection page.
We are in trimester two still, week 13. Today is 3, 5, 2020, and our fraction for today, 121 out of 180. Okay, 121 and 180, the greatest common factor was 1, so we did groups of 1. That means you don't have to get your number line out. But I like to show you it's right here on the number line and that there's no lines lined up underneath it because there's no equivalent fraction in lower terms. This is our simplest form. Alright, let's go ahead and erase your worksheet and thank you for joining me.